So let's distinguish between most people who already have access, who have broadband access, who are computer literate, from people who are just getting online, getting connected, and may only be able to afford connectivity for certain basic functions. I think by 2015, most people, maybe even in developing countries as well, will be using some kind of app for communication with their government. They may be interacting in an e-learning environment or an e-citizenship environment, applying for licenses, accreditation, that kind of thing. We'll see more and more uh, online web-based communications moving into the schools, test, registration of children, those kinds of things, and hopefully lots more e-learning. But just to think that by 2015, we're really going to be as connected for the rest of the world. I think we have to sit and understand that maybe the first 1.5 billion of early users might be living in that world, but now we've got to figure out how we bring the rest of the 3.5 billion or 2.5 billion into that world. And I'm not sure we're talking enough about that challenge. We talk about the capability that broadband, always on, high speed, high performance devices, sexier software applications. How can they change my life? How do they also touch someone's life who's just not getting online?